Good evening YouTube, because as you can probably tell by the window, it is not the morning at all. Nowhere near. In fact, it's three minutes past eleven at night. It has been the longest day of the year and I have so far managed not to film once. Because in England today it was the summer solstice. I don't know if you have that on the same day in other parts of the world. But in England it was the summer solstice, which basically means it's the first day of summer and it's the longest day of the year. Um, so yeah, so longest day of the year and I still haven't managed to film all day. Whew, heart attack, nearly dropped my laptop on the floor. But yeah, um, so everyone's asleep near enough now because they're tired. Why else would you sleep? Yeah, but they're tired, so... They've all gone to sleep, so I've, that's why I'm rather quiet and my voice is really raspy today. I don't know what's up with it. I was fine this morning, got in the car and it went really raspy and I've, ever since, no idea. So, hoping it gets back to normal tomorrow. If not, what can you do? But anyway, what have I done today? Well, to be honest, not a lot. Because it's Monday, and you know what Monday means. Monday means back to school. Boo. But... I can't remember what I was going to say and I really need to sneeze. <coughs> oh dear. But I have all my lessons. My teacher sent me homework to read. And if you've watched my recent vlogs, then you will know that I've got really into reading lately. So I was really happy about that because she was like, oh, you can read while you're on holiday and then you're not missing out on much work. And I was like, good, that's great because that's what I was planning on doing anyway. So yeah. Um, so that was nice. She sent me easy work. Um, but she set everyone the same, so I'm not missing out on anything, really. Uh, what else? Um, oh yeah, my brother missed the bus this morning. It really annoyed me because I got up at like half past six this morning. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is going majorly. What's going on? But yeah, I got like half past six morning, I felt really bright and early, so you know what, I'll have five more minutes, do you know, because I was going to have a lion, but if I'm bright and early and I've, I don't feel like I need to sleep, I should realise I've taken one earring out and not the other. Thanks for distracting me, mother. Um, I <laughs> could only see one on the side. Sorted. Um, so yeah. What was I even saying? Look, my memory is gone. It's been so long, my memory is gone. But yeah, I'm going to try to do all this vlogging one. But I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm probably going to end up stopping it and then looking back to see what I've said. But yeah, so my brother woke me up at about 8 o'clock. No, it was half past 8. And he woke me up and I just looked at the phone and I was just like, you are kidding me. And his, his bus comes at about 10 past 8, which means he's got to leave at 8. But apparently he had like a really long backlog of things. So basically, I couldn't have the lion that I wanted to have. And I couldn't do any of my work because I'd left, I thought I'd left it all at home. Turns out I was in the back of my folder, like, you know, in the middle. Because we've got new, um, that put me off then. It says I've got low battery. Oh, that's because I've not turned the charger on. There we go. So, <laughs> sorry about that. So yeah, I thought that I'd left all my work at home, but it turns out I was in the middle of the folder, so I really annoyed myself even more when I got home because I'd spent two hours this morning doing nothing when I could have finished all my work. And now I've got loads of work to do because I've got more work to, from today to do. And it's just really annoyed me. <laughs> so, thanks to him. Didn't get my lie in. If you're watching this, you are in trouble. Yeah. Because I know he watches. I know. Yeah, so. Didn't get my iron. Didn't get my work done. And now I'm stressed. And I need to sleep. Because I'm tired. Thanks to you. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm a lovely sister. Great human being. It was so hot. Honestly, it was like the most boiling night. I came home and I had three ice creams. I had two. Like, you know, those really long, I don't know if you know one, but, like, if you're from the UK, you'll definitely know them, but I don't know if other countries know them, but they're, like, really long and thin, uh, just like ice pops. And I had two of those. I had an orange one and 
a Coca-Cola one. And then I had my tea. Actually, I didn't eat much of my tea, but then I had my tea. And then I had another orange one because we ran out of Coca-Cola ones. Probably because I ate all them because they're the nicest ones. You're supposed to save the best to last, but I never do. I always eat the nicest ones first because if not, then somebody else goes and eats them. I feel like most people have that problem though. Like if you buy something and then somebody else goes and uses it, especially your siblings. I'm so hot, I'm having to like take my leg out of bed. <laughs> my knee just appeared. You should go rewatch that. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not feeling like doing much editing tonight, so you're going to have to rewind, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah. What else? Let me see. Oh, I went to a meeting earlier for when we go away. And we were only supposed to get one t-shirt and we got three t-shirts each and they had our names on them. They never have our names on them, ever. So, that's the first and that's nice. Um, that's it really. Actually, I've just thought, I have to email my teacher about plug sockets. Don't ask. I have to email my teacher about plug sockets and he's still not replied, which has annoyed me, like, major. But my nan's going to bring me some anyway, because in France, or in other countries, they have, like, two-point plugs and three-point plugs. And we have completely different plug sockets here to what they have in other countries. So, we needed to buy adapters. But my nan has some anyway, she has some two point ones. So we're hoping they're two point, because if not we've got to go out on Wednesday night really late at night and like hunting for three point pins. Or my mum's going to have to do it on Thursday morning. <laughs> and I don't really know if she knows what she's looking for. But yeah. Also my makeup's rubbing off and it's making my cheeks look really really big. And I don't like it. I don't know why. Usually I'm think like I feel fine when my makeup comes off. But today I'm just not feeling it. I'm so tired. My back really hurts in this position, guys. But you know what? I'm gonna put up with it just to talk to you for a bit longer because we're about seven minutes in now. And a vlog that's seven minutes isn't really a vlog, is it? To be honest, this isn't really a vlog. I'm just kinda of sat here telling you about my day because I didn't manage to film it all because I'm rubbish because I am a poop basically <gasps> I was watching one of Zoella's vlogs it was her most recent one actually today um, and they had unicorn shoes I was really surprised by that I found a unicorn t-shirt and I found some unicorn shoes so now we just need unicorn bottoms like trousers or shorts or something and unicorn underwear so guys if you knew where any of those are or jewelry or anything like that comment down below where you found them and i will go explore because i'm finding this unicorn business rather amusing right now so yeah i even had a dream last night about unicorns that that is not like i woke up 20 minutes later i realized i'd had a dream about unicorns basically one of my friends she calls herself a unicorn <laughs> Because apparently she's special, like a unicorn. This is bugging me. So, yeah, she calls herself a unicorn. So, I just now send her every single unicorn I pass. Like, whether it be on a t shirt, whether it be on an advert, I just send pictures of unicorns. Like, I even sent her a picture of Zoella's shoes earlier. So, but yeah, she has. She has a bit of a unicorn obsession and let's say she gets drunk a lot so basically I dreamt that we were in a shop because I sent her a picture the other day of um, a t-shirt I found in Primark with a little like little circle badge thing on and it had the unicorn in the middle of the badge and then it had like writing on the outside and I can't remember what writing it was but it was like the unicorn emoji in the middle my nose is like blocked up on this side and then it's making this side whistle that's weird but anyway, I'm a bit distracted now. Um, I apologise if there's any whistling in this video. It is my nose. Um, but yeah, so I sent her that picture. And then last night I had a dream that we'd gone clothes shopping together. Because I was with my nan at the time. I wasn't with her. So obviously I didn't send her a picture if I'm with her. So I had a dream last night that we'd both gone shopping together. And was in one of those shops that sells like... Um, 
brand new clothes, but every single one is different. I don't know if these exist or if I've just made this up, but <laughs> we were like looking for all the um, clothing racks and things. It's kind of like a sale rack or something like that where everything's different. Um, and there's no two of the same thing and it's like like a charity shop or something like that but they were all new clothes and they were like sifting through them I was like oh my god I found this t-shirt blah 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 and it, look it's you on it because basically there was a unicorn in a pub because she calls herself a unicorn and she always gets drunk so a drunk unicorn was just a perfect match but I don't see how that was relevant to anything I was talking about but there you go you can have an insight into my life and now you can have an insight into my dreams and what goes on up here. <laughs> Which, to be honest, I wouldn't want the insight to because there's some loopy rubbish happening up here. So, yeah. Also, my mum's bought me some of this hand sanitizer. It's like 39p from Home Bargains. <laughs> it made me laugh because we've been told to bring hand sanitizer to France with us. So it made me laugh because I have so much hand sanitizer. I hate running out of hand sanitizer. Look, this is the one my mum bought me. I'm not holding the one my mum brought me up. That's the one my mum brought me. And then I've got another one here. Look, this is the one my mum bought me. So I've got four, and they're all full. Then I've got one in my bag, or maybe two. I think it's one though. Then I've got one in my handbag that I'm going to transfer over to my bag that I'm taking to France. So, if you need to, if you see any hand sanitizer and think of me, please don't buy it me because I'm stocked up till about the end of the year. Sorry about that. I needed to move some stuff. I don't know why I'm closing that drawer because I'm going to put my tripod back in it in a minute. But anyway. So this vlog is running really dry now, I understand that. Um, so, yeah, if you have any ideas, by the way, because I've got a book full of content videos to film, and I'm going to film loads of them on Wednesday, and then I'm going to upload as many as I can on Wednesday before we leave, so that you guys have something to look over for the next week, and because I can't really post when I'm in France, because I'm not going to take my laptop or anything with me, my mum and dad are going to look after that stuff. So... Because I don't really want it to get stolen because it's got all my hard drive and everything in it. Well, basically, no, it's not. It's not got my hard drive in it. My hard drive is at school because they needed my hard drive because it's got my coursework on it. So I can't back anything up onto my hard drive. So if my laptop gets stolen, then basically I'm screwed. So I'm not taking my laptop with me. Um, So, like I said, my parents are going to have to look after that. But yeah, so... I can't, that's why I can't upload anything. I could use my phone, but then I wouldn't be able to use my phone while I was uploading because then it all fails and it's all stupid and, but yeah. Hope you know where I'm coming from here because I don't really know what I'm saying. I do know what I'm saying. I know what I'm talking about, but I don't know what. It's just kind of turning into a bit of a ramble. As you can see, probably see, it's like... I can't see my time now because I've put my laptop right over there at the other side of my bed. Like, I don't know if I should turn this around because I've only got a t-shirt on and some pants. But my laptop is all the way over there. I'm going to go look at the time. One second. It is 17 minutes past 11. So yeah, you can probably see that. I've got BBC iPlayer on my TV. So I'm going to go watch EastEnders. And then I'm going to go to sleep because I'm tired and I can't bother to do anything else today. So go follow me on all my social media. All the links are in the comments down below. And I will see you later. See you tomorrow. And don't forget to comment on the content video ideas. Because I do have some. I have loads but a lot of them have to be filmed in pairs. So if you've got one like a saying or something like that you want me to talk about. And give my opinion on then that would be quite useful or something like that. Anything. Anything will do. Go comment and follow me. See you later. Bye. This EU referendum thing is doing my head in because it's taken over everything. It's taken over the radio, it's taken over the TV, it's taken over the world right now. Even though it's only Britain, but still it feels like it's taken over the world. Because 
there's no nothing on the TV because of the EU referendum. That is just stupid. That is like mad, mental. It's not until Thursday. Honestly, some people. But also, I can't watch EastEnders because it's not on.